Welcome back to the Air Shrink Whiskey Whiskey Summit semi annual uh, memorial fun run for the kids. Uh, we are together doing a little fun one. Yeah, um, yeah. This was came from the mind of my compadre here who's pouring us some samples. Um, we are taking a look at two brands. Um, one one you've heard of, one you haven't. Uh, Joseph Magnus, billionaire oil tycoon, versus Doc Swinson, Western Card Shark. I made that stuff up. <laughs> Eric, tell us about these whiskeys. All right, so Joseph Magnus, um, the Magnus Distillery is based out of Washington, D.C., um, I do believe they, they for, for a while they've been an NDP, not a selling producer, but I do believe they're just selling their own stuff now. Uh, okay. it just hasn't made it to market yet. Mm -hmm. Um, but they were sourcing from MGP before it was cool. Uh, so they do, they do a couple of weird brands. They do, this is Joseph Magnus. Um, they, this is, it's a triple cast finish, Sherry and Armagnac. No, Sherry and Cognac. The first cast being a regular bourbon barrel. Um, supposedly nine year MGP, uh, bourbon, don't know exact mash bill. Uh, they do a cigar blend, which is a little cast strength, higher octane proof on it is right at a hundred. And this runs you about a hundred bucks. Yeah, give I, just, or take. I just gotta say, I feel like most of that cost is in the bottle because this bastard is heavy. I pulled it out of the box and, and that, was shocked. And that's an old style bottle too. Yeah. Um, old style bottle, real cool label. Um, so the Doc Swenson is a newer brand. Um, same thing. It's a uh, it's an NDP. Um, it says bottled in small batches, but it's also a triple cask finish. It is younger MGP. I heard it was four to five years old. Straight bourbon whiskey finished in sherry and cognac. So essentially the same thing, but five years younger, five or six years, or five or four years younger, whatever. And so this runs you about. 65 ish dollars all right all right so we're gonna do a little compare and contrast and see which one is the better buy i will be honest i've never had either one of these it's been a hot minute since i've had them so it'll be going in pretty uh pretty new all right left to right what are we drinking brother so first one is magnus on the right on the right okay then left is the swinson rajo cheers cheers Oh, I almost wanted to use the F word. Good sherry notes. Real bright, yeah, bright, fruity. Um, real sweet, fruity. Um, a a reach back, um, a dusty mustiness. Yep. Um, don't get much of that cognac. I get a I get a hint of it, but not much. But I get a good like a good dry sherry. Um, I wonder if that mustiness I'm getting might be from the cognac. Probably. Obviously, you're going to get more of what it was finished in last. Do you know what a sherry is? I do. Okay, okay. I, I, was, I, had, I didn't I'd, know. I was just... I was just... If, well, if you'd watched my video about the two scotches... No, um, I'll, do a, I'll do another crash course because I still remember it. Um, for, for those of you who don't know, a, a sherry is a fortified wine. What that means is at some point in the process alcohol is added to the the wine um with sherry it's added in um at the end of fermentation so they add like brandy let's say um to the wine which is a white wine um to kind of kick it up a notch so it's fermented there's no residual sugars left so it's a dry wine with some with some you know, spirit, and then they'll, they'll age it and stuff like that. Um, as opposed to port, which is a red wine. Right. And they add the brandy in the middle of fermentation. Right. So there's still residual <clears throat> sugar. So it's going to be sweeter. Known, known mostly between the two as a dessert wine. Well, they're both dessert wines, but yeah, you're going to sweet port. Is no, sweet. I, mean, I mean, both of them, at, both of them were, both dessert, of them are dessert yeah. wines. Yeah. Yeah. So finishing a dessert wine, a white wine, um, at that. So, so yeah, we're getting grape. We're getting, I get, I get the cognac, not a lot of bourbon. 
I can tell it it's, is a bourbon. Yeah, it's it's very. I mean, not a lot of bourbon notes. Like I don't. Yeah, it's not the class. You know, you're not like oh, vanilla brown. It is common. very sherry dominant. Very sherry dominant. You get some of that um, mustiness from the cognac. Give it a taste. Let's do it. Damn. Very sherry. Very sherry forward. Um, still not a lot of bourbon. Um, I, like I said, I can tell it's a bourbon. Like It doesn't taste like a wine, but it is... The bourbon notes are muted heavily by the sherry, and I don't know what sherry they use because you know there, there's all kinds, you know, all kinds. Um, but it is drier. It's a drier sherry. Mm -hmm. um, I believe the drier sherries are Pedro Jimenez, uh, but not 100 percent sure. But it, it tastes drier. It is. I haven't had that in a while. That I that I enjoyed that. That's nice. Um... Scotch in nature. It, it is very scotchy. You still got some of the bourbon qualities. Um, you know, the, the sherry sings through those dried fruit notes, that little bit of sweetness. I do get, I think, a lot of the... How old is the, was the bourbon? I'm sorry, I zoned out when you were talking about Give it. Give or take nine years old. I've heard, okay. I've heard nine. So, so I feel like between the nine-year-old bourbon and the cognac finish, I'm getting a lot of that spicy... Um, like the cedary oak notes yeah um that comes through with the 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 sherry um it's really good mm -hmm. really really good all right you want to hit the swenson dr miguel cuddy <laughs> oh thank you no i got so this one to me has more more, bourbon. Uh, yeah, more bourbon notes. More, a lot of, a lot of caramel. There is, uh, I get more uh, of the cognac on this one than I did the first one. The sherry's not that much there for me, which is strange because this is PX and Olorosa and cognac. So they did triple cask finished. Right. A little bit of that kind of crafty bourbon note. Yeah, I get, I get, I get some corn. Um, the the sherry doesn't come through as much. Um, you know that dried fruit's not as prominent, but I do get kind of some of the dust of the, and, and it may just be how the order that they finished it in. Yeah. Yeah. True. I'm gonna try it. Smell like it doesn't suck. Let's go for it. Okay. Mm, MGP dill. Um, definitely kind of definitely has a craft note. I don't know how long these were finished, so it is. It's a it's a fair ish comparison. I don't know how long these were finished, but it seems like these were finished longer because I get more of. I think maybe they cut a hole in the bottom of the barrels with these and ran them through. Yeah, I. It's enough. It's enough to to round out the edges. I think. Honestly, I don't get a whole lot off of this one to color it off of a, just a regular NGP bourbon. Mm -mm. You're right. Okay, I agree. Especially after having that, which is like, I mean, darkest sin. Yeah. Um. All I had to say. All I had to say. Sixty-five bucks. Okay. I mean, it's it's worth a gamble for something that's. Something, tri it's something different. Tri um, tri triple finished. Um, if you're not a Scotch drinker, um, but you want like an end of the evening break from like that bourbon harshness. And right. bur bourbon is harsh. Let's be real. Um, this will do the trick. It's it's really good. Um, now, if you got some some cash and you want to splurge and want something that's just going to knock people's socks off that guy right there. Yeah. The better, the, the better price per value per taste is Magnus. Um, but the Swenson is not bad. I would even venture to say it's good. It's good. Um, 
But I'm glad we did this. I'm too. I again, I walked into this thinking, hey, Doc Swince is going to beat Joseph Magnus. But I thought it was too. I was going to, you know, because we're bar we're bargain shoppers now. We're, we'll look for yeah. any any kind of hole in the, in marketing and philosophy and whatever. But they, the Magnus won. Magnus Magnus knows what they're doing. Give them a chance. If if you can find it, you got the cash. Go for it. Um, now both of these were good though. All right. Good call, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you for joining us. Uh, like, share, subscribe, follow. Shake, rattle, and roll. Uh, all the social media information is coming at the end of the video. Um, check out our podcast. It's floating around on the internet, EDWNCF. Um, Eric's Drink Whiskey and Chill Filtered. Uh, we have a lot of fun in the behind the scenes of our episodes. Uh, unintentionally uh, creating content for the podcast. Yeah. But... Uh, this was a good one. Um, I drank all my samples, but I've got a little bit left in this one. So until next time, cheers. cheers.